Hello everyone and welcome to a special edition of In the Community. Today we're celebrating 15 years of freedom for individuals living in the Lima region. Do you realize God wants you to be free? We're talking about freedom in Christ. Now I understand we still live in a broken world and things are difficult, but God wants you to experience the peace that passes all human understanding. We all have hurts, habits, and hang-ups that keep us from experiencing that freedom. But the great news is we don't have to stay there. It's possible to break free and truly experience that freedom in Christ. My guests today have a lot more to say about that very thing. My guest on this month's In the Community special is, my guests, plural I should say, Sandy and Eddie Montford here from Celebrate Recovery, the Lima Celebrate Recovery Collaborative, celebrating 15 years. Yes. 15 years, which just makes me excited when I think about the number of people who in the last decade and a half have experienced freedom in Christ through Celebrate Recovery. Now we're gonna talk about a great concert that's gonna come up in November 9th. Sela is coming back to the area to celebrate the anniversary. But before we do that, let's first just talk about Celebrate Recovery itself. Either one of you, just go ahead and give me a synopsis of what this ministry does for people. This ministry welcomes anyone, uh, anyone that has a hurt, habit, or hang up. And honestly, that's all of us on this earth. Mm -hmm. And what I say, often is the only one that doesn't fit that category, we killed him about 2000 mm -hmm. years ago. And so it's a great place, a safe place for anyone that wants to come with the challenge that they're facing. A lot of people make the assumption it's simply alcohol and drugs. It may be, it may be divorce. It may be the struggle of a child being in confinement. It may be the struggle of living with an individual with an addiction. It may be depression. It may be anxiety. The list can honestly go on and on. No matter what the challenge is that the person is facing, they'll walk in that door, they'll be greeted, and they'll be given an opportunity to be safe and experience God. What is a Celebrate Recovery meeting like? What, what's, what's a normal thing that happens there? A normal thing that happens is, of course, we, we uh, uh, introduce ourselves in the way we, I introduce myself. Hi, I'm Eddie. I'm a believer in Jesus Christ, and I struggle with depression and anxiety. One of the things that Celebrate Recovery does, it does not, uh, our, our issues aren't who we are. Mm -hmm. they're, str they're the struggles that we have. Many people, you know, you know I am an, I'm an addict. Well, you know, you struggle with addiction. But Celebrate Recovery is, is a place where there's, there is um, praise and worship songs, which Sele is normally uh, one of our, our go-tos. Mm -hmm. um, we, we have prayers and we, we talk about the, uh, the 12 steps, which is main, pretty close verbatim to what AA and NA and all the other A's are. Um, and, and the it, it's also based on eight principles, which are the Beatitudes. Now, if people, can, it, and we tell people it's a Christ-centered 12-step program, we're not gonna shove any, any spirituality down your throat, but you will get a good, good mm -hmm. dose of it without, the, without any pressure. It, there is either a, a teaching or a testimony right off the bat. Uh, and after the first hour, we break up into uh, separate groups. Men go their way and women go their way because men will talk about things mm -hmm to men that they're not gonna talk about in front of women and the same with women. They're gonna talk about things mm -hmm. in front of women that they're not gonna talk about with men. So that, that helps give that, that sense of safety. Uh, and, and that's one of the things that, that the people who continue to come say, that's why I come. Mm -hmm. I feel safe here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that's, you know, that, that's what we attempt to do. And so. we've heard that phrase many times, safe space. Mm -hmm. And I think it's really important to grasp the, the value of that. Because unfortunately, we live in a society that, especially with social media and things, mm -hmm. 
us being honest with maybe our weaknesses or our struggles can become unsafe because mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. are judgmental. But that's just such an important reason why Celebrate Recovery is needed because God wants us to be free of these things. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Yeah. He, he, he showed no judgment. And so uh, we, we don't have the right to do that either. Mm. And we truly believe that. Even since the beginning, we, we had to agree that we would accept anyone and the doors would be open. It wasn't important whether or not they were tied to any faith. It was that they came because they wanted to be a part or see what this was and how it would impact their hurt, their habit, or their hang up. So we welcome every single one. Uh, it is a Christ-centered 12 step and we say that Jesus Christ is our higher power. Mm -hmm. We've had other individuals that don't believe in God, don't believe in Jesus, maybe of a different type of faith who have felt comfortable and continue to come. It's not for us to take care of that. We believe the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. impacts because we're in one of God's houses mm -hmm. and there are many around this area. So if we do the work he's asked us to do and we follow the direction we're Jesus was accepting everyone. We believe that the work that needs to be done will be done. So right, we're, we're gonna, just, we're privileged to be there. And we're gonna talk more about this in a moment, but we're gonna kind of segue into the anniversary because I don't want you to walk out of the room and miss this part. The anniversary that's coming up, uh, the anniversary concert rather, November the 9th, Sayla is coming back. Sayla's kind of become just a key part. You mentioned it, Sayla's mm -hmm. music is, is part. So. Let's talk about this anniversary concert that's coming up November 9th. I believe it's going to be the third time we have had Sayla to this community because we think they are that amazing. And if you haven't heard them, you need to come. If you have heard them, you still need to come. Yeah. We're going to have that in St. John's Church here in Lima. And we are bringing in a sound system to accommodate the sound system we have to allow those three amazing mm -hmm. individuals with powerful voices to ring through and ring true. So we're, we've asked them, we let them know, we wanted them to be here for our 15th year. They said, absolutely. So we're excited and looking forward to seeing them again. And you have recognized that Selah's heart as well is really to reach out to the same, in the same way that Celebrate Recovery does. Yes, yes, absolutely. And I, to be honest with you, uh, one of our other main leaders is, is Kelly Bees, also Kelly Salerno, now married. She introduced us to Selah. Mm -hmm. We heard that music and as soon as we heard it, oh my goodness, <laughs> we need to not only listen to this at Celebrate Recovery, we need to have this as a part of our lives. Mm -hmm. And so we do, yes. Yeah. Well, Selah is uh, personally very important to me. Uh, coming from a Catholic background, Praise and worship songs aren't the norm. Um, and I was not, I was not into that when we first started. But when, say, when, we, when I heard Selah and, and how well they sang, uh, it just started a fire. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they, uh, they are absolutely fantastic. And they will. They blew the the roof off uh, the church the last time. In fact, they they loved the acoustic. If they said they'd come back any time, uh, they actually put um, s some videos of their last concert at St. John's in some of their work because of the the uh, acoustics there. So it, it, they are, without a doubt, now. The only one is Todd. He's a Michigan fan, but we'll, we'll overlook that. <laughs> okay, Michigan fans, we do love you. Yeah, we love He's you too. He's a Michigan but... <laughs> fan, all right, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. But uh, they, they are good people. Uh, their manager, uh, Marcus, is mm -hmm. another, is a wonderful young man. Um, With an amazing testimony as well. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Which he oftentimes shares yes, at those concerts. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yes. So we're, we're looking forward, we're looking forward to it. and. The last time they came, they went into the prison also, mm -hmm. and it was a tremendous experience for mm -hmm. both mm -hmm. the men who were there and for Selah, uh, and uh, it was it was absolutely fantastic. You you could if you couldn't feel the spirit, you, you there was something wrong with it because it was very it was very intense in there, and everybody I, I believe felt uh, felt the spirit working mm -hmm. in the, in that 
facility. I love that. If you are not aware of SELA, take some time to research them, S-E-L-A-H. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Eddie talked about the praise and worship that you don't hear a lot in the Catholic Church, but they sing a lot of hymns mm -hmm. and they, oh, they harmonize do. amazingly mm -hmm. with those hymns. They Absolutely. just do incredible stuff. So you'll get to experience the hymns, but then they do have some fabulous praise and mm. worship. Oh. And they even sometimes bring in some African music no. too yes, and different do. things because of their backgrounds as missionary <laughs> right. work. Yes, well, they Todd's do. anyway. Mm -hmm. um, so really, really, uh, really encourage you to attend that November the 9th, taking place at St. John's Catholic Church, such a beautiful, beautiful facility. And tickets are available at itickets.com, correct? They are, yes, yes. itickets.com. You don't have to be a part of Celebrate Recovery to come. Of course, we encourage everybody who has been a part to come, but just come and, and celebrate mm -hmm. what God has been doing for 15 years. Mm -hmm. Can you go back to the beginning or near the beginning and think about all that's happened in the last decade and a half? Well, to, to be honest with you, at, at that time, and I, I, I think, I heard about this group in Fort Wayne, Indiana, as I was on the way to my job, which at that time was the worst center. And I knew of a young girl, her time, Kelly Bees, who had been in recovery from an eating disorder. And they wanted her to go to a support group. She didn't use any substances, so there was no place for her to go. And then I heard about this group in Fort Wayne called Celebrate Recovery. Well, one thing led to another and I told Kelly about it. We were going to go to a training. I invited Eddie, and he wasn't sure he wanted to go yet. <laughs> so Kelly and I went and found what it would do. Since that time, we literally have gone every Wednesday as best we could. Uh, when COVID came around, we weren't able to meet when the church had to shut down. We did, in fact, at least the ladies, we met telehealth, televideo, or how mm -hmm, you want to call mm -hmm. that because we just continued to be able to reach out or touch with individuals that we knew were going through the struggle all of us were going through. And as soon as we could return to the church, we did. We've had many people from recovery programs that come to celebrate recovery. We've had individuals that have come struggling with divorce, struggling with um, eating issues. One of the, one, one of the um, to me, one of the most touching moments was, there was a young lady that struggled, struggled with substances for years. She went to several different groups and it just wasn't working for her. She came to check out Celebrate Recovery and thought this may not be too bad. She stayed with us for, for quite some time, close to two years. We uh, got notified that she had died. Mm. And the irony of that was the night before, some of us got a text from her. It wasn't a goodbye text. We had no idea. I'm sure there was hesitation from the family to check on that situation through an autopsy. Mm. She was sober. Mm. The greatest gift. And the picture she sent us had an incredible light in the room. Well, we showed that picture to her parents. Jennifer, there was no window in that room. Mm. There was no light on in that room. That was God. But there was light. Mm -hmm. There was, was the light. light. Yeah, the glory of God. Absolutely. Yeah. That, that moment was incredible. And, and one other one, and I'll let Eddie speak after that. There was a young girl that came again, struggled with alcohol and used a variety of groups. It just wasn't working for her. We weren't the only support group of Celebrate Recovery she went to. She went to more than one. She's six years sober now. Mm -hmm. And her parents practice step 12. They're paying it forward. She's doing what she needs to do in her own life, which she now has back. Mm -hmm. They donate brand new Celebrate Recovery Bibles to mm -hmm. us. They do it anonymously to help pass on the word. So when the young man came in last evening to introduce his new friend, he said, and I want you to see you can get your own Bible here. <laughs> when you see those moments, it literally brings tears to me because he's sharing God. He's sharing the word with the person. And, and the young person said, I get this. It's brand. Yeah, this is for you. And the word of God is just amazing what, what it will do, the power of it. Yes. Mm -hmm. to, to, change, to change people's lives. Yes. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. so you too, 15 years. You started out not so sure. <laughs> <laughs> I started, I, I would be a very good Thomas. Uh, mm -hmm. I did not, uh, I was unsure of being involved in it. Um, but after a while, I, I saw what was happening. I went to a couple trainings and I, I thought it would it would be a a, a good program um, because I saw people's lives being changed mm -hmm. so as we first started you know you you you, you can actually you know it, it's amazing um, it's like uh, going to a gas station and getting filled up so I go to I go to celebrate recovery for myself, and get filled up on Wednesday night. So I get filled up on Tuesday night so, because I go out to the prison. But I get filled up on Wednesday night. I get it tapped off. And but, you go out and you do celebrate recovery in the prison, right? Yes, ma'am. Right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 We've been doing that for eight years. Mm -hmm. It's been at least eight years. Uh, and, and even during COVID, we did it by Zoom, uh, and it's been well received out there. There have been gentlemen that I still am in contact with who, who have been uh, released from, from prison and uh, to stay in contact. Mm -hmm. And they're doing well, and you know, the, God works in mysterious ways, mm -hmm. and we just have to be willing to look for those ways. So you're talking about Wednesday nights. I know yes. that in the past there's been a lot of groups. I'm not sure if there's still as many groups. How do people find a Celebrate Recovery group? Well, because of the, the 15 year anniversary and the celebration and Kelly's skill, we now have a lot of people would go on Facebook for particular things. If you want to go to our group, there's a Celebrate Recovery Collaborative at St. John Church page. There were several groups in the area and some have not been able to continue. There are two groups actually on Wednesday nights. Ours is Wednesday night from 6 to 8 p.m. The last Wednesday of the month, we offer a meal and we celebrate milestones. Mm. Wednesday night is also, I believe, Lama Community Church out on North Cole Street. Theirs is from 6.30 to 8.30. There are uh, celebrate recovery groups in Wapak, in Finley, in Kenton, Van Ward is back up again. So we advertise all of those groups on our bulletins every week. And you can go to Celebrate Recovery Finder on the internet mm -hmm. and you can find all of the area groups. I've heard of some other groups that wanted to start in this area. They haven't been able to, to kick off yet. I have to be honest, Eddie's work, Kelly's work, and, and my efforts as well, we were able to, to mentor several of the groups mm -hmm. I just said to you. We, I think we are the oldest in the area. I believe we are. And when people were interested, they reached out to us and we certainly went, explained to them what they would need to do, the training that they would need to have, and whether they were good, ready or not to be prepared for the miracles mm -hmm. that would happen each and every day. I mean, I feel we had several miracles last night. Mm -hmm. We have nothing to do with that. We just get the privilege to be present. And I mean that, so. What is the cost to attend Celebrate Recovery? Celebrate Recovery is completely free. Mm -hmm. uh, some of the Celebrate Recoveries collect. We do not collect donations. We sit at a donations after the two hours. We have coffee, we have cookies. Once a month we have a meal that last Wednesday of the month. If people want to donate, they can. Another way they donate is help us set up the water or help us set up the chairs. Mm -hmm. That's donating too. Mm -hmm. Welcoming new people, that's donating too. So it's from contributions we've received. Uh, I don't know, if we've had some significant contributions from individuals mm -hmm. that own businesses in this area mm -hmm. that may have attended for a period of time yep. that have definitely helped us. And mm -hmm. those contributions are making the difference, allowing us to be offering SELA mm -hmm. in this area and the expenses of that, which is well worth it. November 9th again, SELA. Mm -hmm. itickets.com. Yeah. You're going you're gonna well, to I, Go I was going to say yes. It, we, 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 we have donations from, from a gentleman that, that uh, is the CEO of a company that was involved in, in Celebrate Recovery. And he has, he has 
He wants to give back. Yes, he and he has, and how. he has given yeah. back. And Sandy is absolutely right. The only re the reasons why we're able to bring uh, Sayla into town is by his generosity. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. and I, I just want to encourage all of you at home because, you know, physically, if we have a physical injury and we go through recovery. It's, it's visual and people see it and we go through it. But the mental, the spiritual, all the other things can happen to us. Trauma, um, recovering from addiction, all of these things, things that we a lot of times are ashamed to talk about mm -hmm. are so important because that's the point where we can really live the lives God's called us to do. Mm -hmm. And that's why attending something like this is so important. What could you say to someone who may be sitting at home and saying, yeah, I, I've dealt with this for a long time, but I just don't know how to walk through the door. Well, you just said it. They've dealt with it and they're at the door. They can't walk through it because they've allowed themselves to either believe they're the only one or that someone may not understand or that there may not be a place that they believe they can trust. Mm -hmm. We don't fix anyone. God and his son, Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit do their work. We meet in God's house and they will, if they come to any celebrate recovery, I truly believe they'll be welcomed when they arrive and they can sit back, not say a word for the first hour. Just let the praise and worship music mm. hit them. Just let the lesson or the testimony that they experience go through. They can go to the second hour and not say a word. The young lady I talked about that, that passed away for the first six celebrate recovery meetings she was at with us. She didn't say a thing. Hmm. She just wanted to see if everyone would be respected, and they were. Hmm. Uh, so I would encourage anyone to go to a celebrate recovery, wherever it is, and allow themselves that experience to see how that will impact them and what that could mean. Hmm. And you're about out of time. Any final, final thoughts you want to share? The only, the only thing I will say is exactly that. Come to the door. We'll meet you there and we'll help you come in. It, that's, you're going to come into a very safe place uh, and, and uh, we're there for you. Just one last thing. We have also received donations from some of the parishioners at St. John's mm -hmm. who were, may have had some of their members at Celebrate Recovery or they just know what it's done mm. for their coworker yeah. or their neighbor mm -hmm. or their friend. And so every once in a while we get a donation that way, which is wonderful. That too is allowing us to be able to pull off two incredible events yeah. in one year. That's right. Incredible events, 15 year anniversary for the Lima Celebrate Recovery Collaborative. And November 9th is the date that Sela is coming to town. itickets.com is where you get your tickets. We have the information right there on the screen for you. Of course, you can call us, contact me. I'll give you more information. This is going to be a fabulous concert. I just really encourage you to gather up your friends and family and attend this. Um, I was there for the last one. It was great. So I know that this next one is going to be great as well. And then ultimately, God wants you in freedom. God does not want you stuck in the chains. I think we can live in chains to the point we don't realize what freedom feels like, mm -hmm. but God wants that. So Celebrate Recovery is open. It You're is. welcoming. You're ready for people to come. There's more information on your screen there for that as well. And again, you can always call me here at the TV station and I'll make sure I get you connected in the right direction. Sandy and Eddie, thank you so very much. Well, thank, thank you for you. The time. all you do for the community. Thank you so much. Um, you know, you are just vessels for Christ and there's so many people that are benefiting because of that. Thank you. Thank you. All right, thanks God again. bless. Yes. Thanks for watching this edition of In the Community. This show is possible thanks to your financial partnership and your prayers. You can donate anytime at axeministries.com. Now I've had some people ask me if TV44 and Axe Ministries are the same thing. Yes, we are. When you donate to Axe Ministries, you are donating to TV44. That's just our parent company. It's been that way since the beginning, actually. Hey, thanks again for everything you do to support us. We are a partner in this ministry together, and we do appreciate you so much. Well, let's close with a scripture, Mark 10, 27. Jesus looked at them intently and said, Humanly speaking, it is impossible, but not with God. Everything is possible with God. Don't lose heart, my friend. Keep pressing forward, trusting God 
every step of the way. I'm Jennifer Beck. Thanks again for watching this episode of In the Community.